I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I cannot be defeated and I will not quit. Welcome to Rama Praise, a worldwide broadcast bringing hope, help, and healing for over 20 years from Kenneth Hagin Ministries and Rama Bible Church in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. And now, here are your hosts, Pastors Kenneth and Lynette Hagin. Well, it's Rama Praise time again, and I'm so glad you tuned in today. I cannot believe. Can you believe 2019? Well, that's just what I've been saying. Oh, I cannot right. believe that it's 2019. <laughs> it's just, I mean, time flies. I mean, I, I, I think the more mature you get, Yes. I didn't say older. Uh, no, of course I not. I said mature. Of course not. I think it goes faster. Well, you know, we know it's going faster when even the kids think it's going faster. Yeah, yeah, I guess it is going faster. I don't know. Because used to, you know, it was like the year went by so slow when you were a child. You were just waiting right. for um, the summertime. Right. And now the year just goes by fast, just, fast. I mean, here we are. In January 2019, man, God. It just seems like a yesterday that 2000 came and everybody was wondering what uh, was yeah, going to happen. Yeah, what was going to happen because they're all afraid <laughs> that all the computers and everything yes. going to go down. And I kept telling them it wasn't, it wasn't no. going to happen, but they didn't, nobody believed nobody me. Nobody believed it, did they? Nobody believed me. <laughs> <laughs> well, some people did. Yes, that's and, right. Hey, you know, hon, uh, you know, this, this month I'm going to talk about all this month, I'm going to talk about restoration. Yes. And, uh, you know, we had this latter part of last year and actually going into this year, uh, we are in the process of restoring, well, not restoring, but redoing. Remodeling. Remodeling. That's the word I yes. was looking for. Our, our church auditorium. That's right. And actually the whole, the the whole, whole building, building. Mm -hmm. eventually, uh, lobbies the, and everything. Uh, you know, uh, and, and, and people need to realize that it doesn't matter. You know, I had, I, I, somebody has given me a, a 78 Camaro mm -hmm. and it, it's all there and the body's good and everything's there. It just needs to be restored, put all put together and painted and, and seats done and everything. Well, that's restoring that yes. to its original, original mm -hmm. is what I want to try to do. Yes. Now, let's talk about God for a moment. He is the master restorer. Yes, He is. You know, if your life needs restoration, He's the one for you. You know, when you're, when you're doing a restoration project, uh, you have to talk to people that have done this, that know, what, that know what they're doing, so you get information from them, so you'll know what to do. Yes. Uh, you know, I've, I've worked on cars and stuff, and I know basically what to do. I've got to take the body off the frame, and i got to get to all the dirt and stuff off the frame and get it powder coated and all kinds Sounds of stuff. Sounds like work to me. <laughs> well, it is, but I sort of enjoy doing it yes. and, and that's, that's going to be a project that I'm going to start working on. But uh, actually, God is a restorer. Yes. And we need to expect times of restoration or refreshing in our, in our spirits. So. Yes. You know, he, uh, you know, it, it says over there in one of the verses of Scripture there, and it talks about in Acts, it says that uh, times of refreshing. Yes, yes. Times of refreshing. Well, that's times of restoring you to, about, you know, so many people forget the excitement of when they first received Christ as their Savior. You need to restore that. That That's needs to right. be restored. We should be excited all the time. Yes, we should. And actually, as I'm talking about God, the Master Restorer, this the, 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 the first thing I want to do is talk about God will do it again. Is if ever done it once, He'll yes, do it again. That's right. So let's go there now where I'm talking about that. You know, uh, in the natural, things wear out. They become outdated or damaged or no longer work. 
They need to be uh, restored or renovated. You know, uh, sometimes, in fact, years and years and years ago, a guy, he was talking to me, a pastor, and he said, I, I get a lot of visitors, but nobody seems to want to stay at the church. And I finally had to be honest with him. There were weeds out in front of the church. There were leaves and stuff all over the, he had, it had a porch on that church. You know, it was, it was one that was built a long time ago. How many of you remember they used to build churches that have porches on them with pillars and stuff? And there was leaves and stuff all over there. And I went inside, and the first thing that hit you was uh, a carpet that, it had to be 100 years old, <laughs> you know. And I went inside, and the church, it just needed a complete facelift, you know. And, and he wondered why nobody was, was staying. You know, things had to be restored. Uh, <laughs> often, you catch people with the natural before you catch them with the spiritual. Anybody ever notice that? You know, spiritually, we are filled with the spirit, but uh, it has to be more than a one-time experience. In fact, the word of God says, be being filled. Be being filled. And so if you want a title for what I'm talking about, it's God will do it again. You know, uh, you can tell when some people, some believers, let's just narrow it down to believers. Let's don't go with people. Listen, you can tell when, when believers need the restoration because they're no longer concerned about the lost. Uh, they no, no longer demonstrate love. It isn't, it, is, it isn't prevailing in their lives. Uh, they don't have any joy. You know, and when they get in a crisis, there's no faith word spoken. You know, and all they do is talk about the good old days. I, I've run into people recently that they're, they're still talking about the 70s and 80s when we had the charismatic renewal going on. How many of y'all remember when that was going on? But there's some people, that's, they're still talking about that. No, you need, you need to continue to be being filled with the Spirit. They got filled with the Spirit back then, and they're still there. They need to, be, they need to continue to be being filled with the Spirit, being restored to that time. You know, he, he wants uh, us to continually have a spiritual uh, re renewal or restoration. Uh, Acts 3, Acts 3, 19. Peter is speaking here, and uh, he says, Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord, and that he may send Jesus Christ, who was preached to you before, to whom heaven must receive until the times of restoration. All things which God has spoken by, by the mouth of, the, of his holy prophets since the world began. Now, I want to read that out of the message version. It reads a little different. Now it's time to change your ways. Turn your face to God so that he can wipe away your sins. Pour out showers of blessing to refresh you and send you, send, and send you the Messiah he prepared for you, namely Jesus. For the, time must, for the time being, he must remain out of sight in heaven until everything is restored to order just the way God through the preaching of his holy prophets of old said it would be. In these verses here, we're saying, it's saying that Jesus, uh, you know, that through Jesus all things will be restored as they were prophesied. He's also a thing that we can tap in to the restoration of all things when we repent and be forgiven our sin. So uh, I want to challenge us today as we are challenged with all of the things in life that we continually have times of refreshing and restoration with the Spirit of God. Now, I want you to notice that that word, <clears throat> times, that is not singular, right? That's plural. 
So times means more than one, right? And the Word of God says, continue to be being filled with the Spirit. Continually be being restored, right? See, times of refreshing are to happen throughout the whole church age. And then when I say church, I'm talking about the ecclesia, the called out ones, but they're also supposed to happen in your personal life. We need to expect refreshings and restorations in the spirit. Now, Peter here, and when he was speaking, he indicated that these two things would happen between Christ's ascension into heaven until he comes again. Right? That's when the, we call it the rapture, when the church is taken out. Okay? See, see you got you to remember there is two comings of Christ. In the rapture, Christ doesn't come. He doesn't touch the earth. In the second coming, he comes to the earth. Now, I don't have time to get into prophecy preaching and, and the end time stuff, but uh, if you've studied it all, you know that's true. So, we can rejoice in the fact that God has promised to continually refresh us and restore us. You know, he wants it to, to happen so that we can live the good life that he wants us to live. Also, so that we can carry out his purpose and his plan here on earth. You know, you know, uh, Jesus came to restore and bring salvation. He came to restore and bring healing. He came to, to restore and provide for us in every area of our life. He came to restore what the enemy has stole from us. Now, if, when we look into the Bible, we see that he restored things. And uh, throughout the whole Bible, we see he restored what the devil tried to steal, to kill, and destroy. Hey, now, God restored the earth during creation. Now, Genesis 1, 1 through 3 says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form of void, and darkness was on the face of the earth. And the Spirit of God hovered over the faces of the water. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was. Now, I'm going to get a little theological with you this morning, but I want you to stay with me, okay? I want you to notice that God created the heavens and the earth. Now, God never created anything that, was, that wasn't perfect. So it says God created heaven and earth, but the earth was out far and void. Now, we need to realize some things here. And many, many, many theologians and scholars believe that when God created the earth to start with, but when he kicked Satan and his cohorts out of heaven, they fell to the earth and they caused a situation that messed everything up. And then many believe that it, when he came, he restored the earth back to what it was supposed to be. Now, that's, you know, and Jesus said this in Luke 10, 18. I saw Satan fall from heaven. I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. And if you go back and do some study in Isaiah and back in there, you can see in, you, you can see all of this. I'm not going to get in an argument with you over it one way or the other, but uh, that does explain a whole lot of things, okay? Now, he sent his spirit. He said it was hovering over this, this uh, place that was without form and void, and when God began to speak, then the Spirit of God was there to cause it to happen. Remember in creation it says, let us make uh, man, and it says us. So that means that they were all involved. The whole Godhead was involved. And then in Genesis 1.31, he says, he looked at it, and what he had created or restored and uh, since the chaos is mentioned there in verse 2, and said it was very good, okay? Now, don't get hung up on that. That's just, uh, that's just uh, some theological things, but I, a lot of people 
that, that's a real question for a lot of people. And uh, that's uh, from all of the theological things that you can read and study. Uh, that's the best explanation that we have of that. How many of, how many of you have ever read theological stuff and studied stuff like that? We have. A lot of us have. And uh, so that's the best. But don't get hung up on it. God created it anyway. He re, and he restored. So there he, 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 there it is. He had, he had stolen God's man. So through Jesus Christ coming and dying on the cross. In fact, we're serving communion today. That's what the communion table is all about. The restoration of man to have communion with God through salvation, through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, to have restoration of the healing of his body through the broken and beaten body of the Lord Jesus Christ. That, that Jesus came to restore man spiritually to restore man spiritually to that place where we can commune with God, pray and commune with him through our spirit. Thank God for that day when Jesus will return and man will be restored to the natural, the way it was in the beginning. It says, remember in the Garden of Eden, all of the animals were there and there was no fighting among them. It says the lamb will lay down by the lion. Uh, the, uh, the lamb will lay down by the lion. Come on now, that that brings. See, we we in the, these verses of scripture said that the, he would come, but that this restoration would continue to take place among his people until he comes again. Yeah. Till he comes again. Hallelujah. So Jesus came and restored mankind back to himself. And we see this, you know, uh, the psalmist said in Psalms 83, 80, verse 3, Restore us, O God, cause your faith to shine us, and we shall be saved. Restore, restore. Second Corinthians uh, 6, 2 says, For now, says, is the, in, it says it like this, In the acceptable time of, I have heard you, and the day of salvation, I've helped you. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Be restored. That's the day of restoration of mankind from the enemy to back to God. Now, God requires to store, restore all his people from what, uh, uh, you know, to his people, what Satan has stolen from them. Joel 2, 23. Let's go read Joel 2, 23. All right. Joel 2:23. Be glad, you children of Zion, and rejoice in the, in the Lord your God, for he has given you the former rain faithfully, and he will cause the rain to come down from, for you, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. The threshing floor shall be full of wheat, and the vats shall overflow with new wine and oil. So I will restore to you the years that the swarm locusts have eaten, the crawling locusts, the consuming locusts, the chewing locusts, my great army which I sent among you. You shall eat in, pl eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God. Now who, who has dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be put to shame. Now I want you to notice here it is saying that Everything is going to be restored. Somebody said, well, that is, that's, the, that's the children of Israel. No, we are the spiritual children of Zion. No matter what happens, put your trust in God. Hurtful things, things that broke your heart. If you let God, he will come in and restore and fix you back to the way you used to be. Letting you know that he is not, he has not forsaken you. He's not turned against you. The devil may have come into your life and messed it all up, but he will restore that joy to you. He will restore that, that, that's been taken from you. And then even if we were lost our loved ones, he can restore a joy in us because we know that we're going to see him again. 
It wasn't goodbye, just see you later. He is the master restorer. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want you to remember God will do it again. If you're one of those individuals that need to be restored, are you just an individual that needs a refreshing? Yes. Remember, God will do it. All you have to do is ask him and he will come in and restore you. That's right. And he'll do it again and, and again, again and again and again. And again. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Aren't you thankful that God is a God of restore? Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes. Because, you know, we've all tripped and fallen. Right. But God is always there for us. And I just feel impressed that there's someone out there and you're on the bottom and you think, God, I, I've tripped up so many times. I've asked for your forgiveness so many times. I've started over so many times. God, how can you do this again for me? I want to tell you what. God is a God of love. God is a God of forgiveness. God is a God of restoration and he'll do it for you again and again and again. So go to him, go to him. Right now you're even contemplating taking your life because you feel like that life is not worth living. I want you to know that life is worth living. God is speaking right now to you. Yes. Listen yes. to Him. Come back to Him and you'll see that your life will be so different. You'll see that your life will not be like it has been before, that He will give you the strength. He yes. will give you the courage. He will give you the ability to walk the plan that He has for you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Hey, yes. if she was talking to you, <laughs> hey, uh, why don't you... Uh, Email us uh, and, and let us know all about it. Uh, you can go to uh, just email partner service at rhema.org and tell us about it. We like for it to get the praise reports and prayer requests and testimonies. We get them all the time. In fact, I prayed for some stuff here a few weeks ago that came yes. up across my desk. And, you know, I want you to know that before we do these um, openings, we do an opening and closing of these broadcasts, we always pray, God, we don't know who's going to be watching this, but you do. And we just ask you to minister to those that are watching. Yes, and give us the words to say. Yes, and, and, that's right. And so uh, this is not, not any of this pre pre-planned, right. except the offer. We yes. have to do that. <laughs> and the offer this this uh, time is a, a six CD series by my dad, Kenneth E. Hagen, Spirit, Soul, and Body, and then a mini book by him called The Coming Restoration. Uh, we're offering it for $29 because I right. think it's something that you need to get a hold of. I think it's something that will help you in your life. Just go to rhema.org right. and order it right now. That's right. You need to know the information of your spirit, of your soul, and of your body, and this will help you to give that information. Yeah. yeah. Well, honey, we're on the road again. Yeah, in two weeks. Two, two weeks, weeks away from another Living Faith Crusade. Yeah, you know. in Marietta, California. That's right. That's January the 20th. That'd be Sunday night, Monday, and Tuesday. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll be speaking in uh, Monday morning. and Tuesday morning. I'll yes. be speaking Sunday night, Monday night, and Tuesday night. Yes. And we're going to be at the West Coast Life Church with Pastors Ray Jean and Beth Wilson. Hey, if you need any more details, just go to rhema.org and all the details are there. That's but right. hey, if you're in the area or no no friends or people in the area, let them yes. know about it. Have them come out. And if you watch our our telecast. Hey, yes. come up and talk to us. We don't run. We'll no. stand right there after the service and we'll talk to you. We want we want to talk to you. So That's come. Right. We and, love to hear that you watch us on yeah, television. Yeah, that glad, makes it worth it, right? Yeah, I'm glad somebody <laughs> does. <laughs> and then we're going to uh, Nevada, Las Vegas there yeah. with our great friends, Pastor David and Vicki Sharon. That's January the 23rd through the 25th, Wednesday through Friday night. Right. So yes. come on out and be with us, okay? Hey, you know what? Uh, coming up uh, uh, right away 
is the last time you can enroll for, for the spring enrollment. Yes, That's, for RB, Rainbow Bible Training College. Right, right. Mm -hmm. If you're interested, go to rbtc.org and the information's there and you can enroll for January the 11th is the spring enrollment. Yes. And uh, I think, in and fact, I think. if you hurry, you can still get, get in. Get in, because I think right. classes start on the 12th, uh, I believe, I think it is. So, hey, just go there. All the information's there if yes. you're interested in, in going there. Well, I want to thank all of you for being, helping us, uh, you know, through this past year because you partnered with us. Uh, we have been, I don't know where all we've been in the world, how many crusades <laughs> we've had. I don't know how many people have been saved and healed yeah. and, and filled with the Holy Spirit because uh, uh, of our Word Partner Club members. And you say, well, what is a Word Partner? Well, that's somebody that prays for us regularly. Yes, yes. And then they send in an offering at least once a month, whatever you can afford to send to help support Rama worldwide, what we do. This, we are a worldwide organization. And uh, you know, some people say, well, I don't have very much. Well, if everybody does what they That's can right. with what they have yes. and sends it in each month, it helps us to bring hope, hope help, help, and, and healing, healing to, to the, the world. world. Now who's I? I is the real you. That's the man on the inside. That's the hidden man of the heart. That's the, the, the inward man. We know that this inward man and this hidden man of the heart is God's definition of the human spirit. The real man is spirit. He has a soul. He lives in a body. Spirit, soul, and body. In this six CD series, Kenneth E. Hagen reminds us that we are spirit beings. We can always make right decisions when we let our spirit, our inward man, dominate us. The Coming Restoration by Kenneth E. Hagen, an anointed mini book that explains the move of the Holy Spirit to restore power, authority, and the character of Christ. The six CDs and the mini book can be yours today for a gift of only $29. Just call toll free 1-888-PRAISE-8 right now. Or you can log on at rhema.org anytime, day or night to order. Do it today. Thank you for watching Rama Praise with Kenneth and Lynette Hagen. Kenneth, Lynette, and Rama Bible Training College are committed to reaching the entire world with the gospel of Jesus Christ and training laborers for the end time harvest. If you have prayer requests or would like more information about Rama, please call, write, or visit rama.org. Thank you for being with us today and for your faithful support. And remember, there is hope help and healing for a hurting world.